Today we're talking about the directory info and file info objects. And I basically have pre written the whole program to handle this. And the elements of this program are first a folder browser dialog that allows us to select the directory we want to look at, and then two radio buttons that allow us to select whether we want to list the directories under this selected directory or the files under this selected directory and then a multi-line text box that actually contains that list and a count text box that contains a count of the number of either directories or files we found and finally a button to initiate the whole process so if we look at the form here's all the uh, things I described and also there's a text box which shows what the selected directory is left that one out. If we look at the code, when we look at the uh, event handler for the button, basically I instantiate a folder browser dialog object and then I check to see the return value is OK so the user has selected a directory. And if he has selected a directory, I put that uh, selected path in the text box that shows what the selected directory is. And then based on the two radio buttons, if files checked, I display the files. I call a, a function to display the files. And if it's not checked, the only other possibility is this directory. So I have an else display directories. And if we look at the files, Basically, I instantiate a uh, directory info object called DI, and then I do a DI with the get files method, which returns a uh, an array of file info. And you're probably thinking, why don't I just use a directory with a get files, and that will return an array of strings? And in fact, that would be faster, but the file info contains a lot of information besides the name and basically if you're using directory info and file info it's probably because you want to get at a lot of other information about the files and directories and then uh, I set a count variable to zero and I clear the uh, display that has the enumeration of files or directories and then I use a for each to go through the array of uh, file info and I set each one progressively into a variable called fi which is of type file info and finally I do a uh, text file uh, append text uh, with the fi dot name which is the property that contains the file name and a, um, I concatenate an environment dot new line so each of these will be on their own line and then I increment the count variable. And finally, I uh, convert the count variable to a string using convert.toString. And I set the uh, count field equal to this count. And essentially, what I do with display directory is identical, except instead of using get files, I use get directories method. And I set that into an array of directory info. But once again, the, the attribute I use is the name attribute, which is the short name, not the full path name. And concatenate environment dot new line and increment the count and so on. Pretty much identical to the other function except working with a directory info array rather than a file info array. So if we compile and run this program, I basically hit the get directory info. I actually could get info off the network with my other computers, but we'll just focus on this one. And say I select uh, etc. And press OK. And you notice the directory we selected is in here. And the count of 96 files is there. And then if we look at the multi-line text box, all of these files are enumerated. So if we select directory, 
and do the same thing. Perhaps this time go to something that has a lot of directories. If I can think of something. Uh, maybe .NET. That has a few directories anyhow. And click OK. You see we get a count of seven and a list of the seven directories. And once again the uh, directory selected is displayed. Well, we're going to get a lot more into file info and directory info in the next tutorial. But I thought I'd get into the basics now. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned a lot. And don't forget to subscribe.